Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can request files in a SharePoint on a SharePoint site. Now, this is actually something I covered uh, previously on my uh, YouTube channel. We've had this uh, capability in OneDrive for uh, quite some time. Uh, what I'm talking about is this feature, right? You click on the checkbox next, uh, uh, let's say next to the uh, folder in OneDrive and you re can request files, uh, for example, for, you know, recipients to upload to a, into a, a given folder. Uh, we now have this capability in SharePoint, but there is one very important uh, nuance you need to be aware of. So yeah, here I am on this um, board site and I have a document library with a bunch of folders. So I'm going to click the checkbox, I want to request files into this folder. Uh, however, you are not going to find, most likely you're not going to find the feature called request files. Why? Uh, the reason for that is because uh, in order for this feature to work, you need to have anyone anonymous uh, external sharing uh, essentially turned on at the site level. The reason why it works um, in OneDrive is because by default, Microsoft makes OneDrive uh, essentially, you can you can uh, share uh, uh, anonymously from your OneDrive, you know, files and folders. That is, uh, on the site for security reasons, uh, you are not allowed uh, to uh, share an anonymous, you know, fashion. Uh, so that's kind of turned off. So what you need to do is turn it on on a side by side uh, basis. Uh, you would need to be in the admin center, all right? So you will need to contact your SharePoint uh, admin. And here's the site. You would need to go here, click sharing, and you see how anyone is not enabled, all right? Uh, only authenticated users. Here we go. You, your admin will need to do this. Anyone. This very important, all right? Um, uh, you need to understand the implications um, at this point. Uh, anyone you know, any of your, you know, team members can uh, share uh, files and folders anonymously, all right, anonymously uh, generate the anyone link, all right, uh, that's just how it is. Uh, but uh, the beauty about this option is that, let's see if we have, uh, probably need to refresh, sometimes it takes, you know, some time for it to take uh, effect, uh, and let's see, hopefully we will get uh, the feature available now. So here it is, all right? Um, took a few seconds for it to take effect. You just need to kind of refresh after that. Uh, look at this. Um, I click on the checkbox. Um, it doesn't appear uh, in the kind of main navigation. You have to click uh, three dots, request files. And from this point on, it actually um, works the same way. Um, let's say, I don't know, I'm requesting some invoices here or whatever, all right? And then click next. And essentially, yeah, from that point on, uh, it just generates a link. You can invite people, you can copy the link. And let me just show you the um, uh, experience for the recipient. They essentially, you send them the link, of course. And at this point, um, you know, the recipient gets, um, you know, gets the screen when they click on the link. And because it's anonymous, right, uh, anyone, right, they don't need to authenticate. Essentially, it's kind of a one-way street for them. They don't need to uh, authenticate or provide any user IDs or any temporary passcodes. Uh, they just uh, essentially, yeah, upload whatever the uh, documents uh, they need to upload. And uh, it just, yeah, let's just uh, do something like this. Here we go. They need to provide uh, the first and last name. This is the same exact experience as in OneDrive, all right? Uh, the rest is just kind of the same uh, uh, as it worked before. Now, the reason they need to provide first and last name is because when they upload the file, right? Because you might share this link with like 10 different people. Uh, you know, when you type in first and last names, uh, it will be kind of a prefix uh, to um, to those files. We'll actually see how that works in a second. So just like that, all right, uh, we're done. And let's just double check uh, here. Uh, if once I uh, once I click in here, we will see. Look at this. This are the uh, three files just uploaded. And remember, the name becomes the prefix. And what's interesting, right? Because that's the difference between authenticated and anonymous access is that. Uh, is that right? We never know who did this, right? We pretty much rely on them to supply their name here. Uh, it will, under modified uh, by column, it will state that 
you know, it's a guest contributor, all right? But hopefully, hopefully uh, they didn't lie when <laughs> they typed in their name and uh, that, so that's why it will register on the files uploaded, all right? So once again, uh, it kind of works the same way as in OneDrive, very important. Uh, if you don't see the feature right away, um, you know, you will probably not see it. Uh, you need to ask your uh, SharePoint admin to enable anonymous uh, sharing on that site. And from that point on, you will uh, be able to see uh, this, uh, the ability to request uh, files. All right. So hopefully uh, you learned uh, something new in this video. Uh, thanks again uh, for watching it. As always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com. And uh, uh, hopefully see you again on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.